Jared Poland, Fro Knows Photo. Dot com. Here at Allen's Camera, start this one off with, I am not a representative of the store, I do not work here, and my views are my views, not the views of the store. So with that said, I've got the Nikon 24 to 120 F4 VR, VR, that's cool in this, and nano coatings. What do they sell this for? $1,300. All right, $1,300, expensive lens, 24 to 120 F4. There were two models of this before, one without VR, I believe, back in the day, and then one with VR. Yeah, but not the F4. They were never the F4s before. They were always variable aperture. So this is a, a straight F4, which is cool for people that are looking to just carry around this one type of lens on a full frame body and go wide to zoom. It's a nice range for that. You know that my opinion is I like 2.8s or better. I like that because the lenses are more punchy, more contrast, more vibrance. I just like what happens with the 2.8 or better lenses, even if you're shooting at f4 or higher apertures. Now with that said, we're going to lay out who this lens is for on both sides, professional, amateur. So this would be the lens hood and the lens case. This is just another piece of cardboard. And here is the lens itself. So, it's a pretty fat lens, as in fat, as in it's thick. And we know that it's going to extend out here. Doesn't feel as nice as your 2.8 lenses. Like a 24 to 70, now that feels like a nice, awesome lens in your hand. It's a 2.8. Now, thinking about that, Rob, yes. 24 to 70, 2.8, what's that, 1600 bucks? Seventeen nineteen. So for four hundred dollars more, you're getting into a twenty-four to seventy-two point eight. Not as long as a one twenty, but man, you get into the first Hebrew Trinity. Well, it's either the second, depending on where you get it. But twenty-four to seventy-two point eight is awesome. So if you're an amateur, you're not a pro, and you're shooting with a D seven hundred. This is a good lens for you to give you the wide to a little bit of extra zoom. I don't really want to see this on a DX camera myself, or the reasons you wouldn't, because it's not giving you a wide enough feature or a wide enough angle on your DX sensor. Multiply by 1.5, just not cutting it. Uh, 77 millimeter filter, it's a nice piece of glass still. I haven't shot with it yet. I will be doing that at some point, but you know. Ooh, the ring doesn't feel as nice as it does on some of the pro-end pro lenses. It feels a little more chintzy than normal. Um, but you just have to remember it's a D, it's it's a it's not a 2.8 lens. New cap, it has the new Nikon cap. You have your VR here, your normal and active on and off. That's gonna come in handy more so in video. You know my feelings on VR, not the biggest VR fan, but I do use it in 70 to 200 2.8s when um, when I really need to cheat the system and shoot slow. So, what's it smell like? Uh, yeah. It smells like a Victoria's Secret dressing room. I haven't been in one of those for a while, but that's what it smells like. So yeah, non-professionals, this could be a lens for you. Professionals, save up, go for the 24 to 72.8, my opinion. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.